Good evening, Kingdom Saints, subscribers, viewers. Welcome to my channel. I have a story for y'all that's probably going to make you say, yes, God is good. God is always watching over his children. You know what I'm saying? So I just want y'all to listen until the end because the end part is the best part. So just hang in there. Okay, so m my brother in Christ asked me last week to come out with him today. And he um, said he had a good place for us to go. A nice, nice place that really needs to hear the gospel. So I'm like, okay, well, you know, because when it comes to Jesus, I'm down for whatever. There's no place on this earth that, that I won't go to preach the gospel, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, I'm all hyped. I go see him today. I go to Branch Avenue. They pick me up because it was him and his wife. And they pick me up. And then uh, we had a little fellowshipping at his house before we left. You know what I'm saying? And um, we we start heading out and whatnot. So I'm like, okay, he's driving. He's driving. So he, he says, here it is. I'm like, Dude, I've been doing this for like seven, eight years now. And I can tell you, they're not going to let us preach right there on private property. It's an outside mall. So I'm driving, they driving around and I'm like, looking for a good spot. I'm like, so I'm trying to tell him they're not going to let us preach on private property because this is my, not my first rodeo you heard so, because I've done it before even when I was used to go out by myself police would say you have to move or the owners or the establishments say you know, you know, you're making too much noise you gotta move so I already know they, they was gonna let us be there so the Holy Spirit talked to my brother in Christ because the Holy Spirit told my brother in Christ to go ask the security guard in the car, the security for the mall. So we pull over and he asked him, hey, is it okay for you to preach the gospel here? And he was like, please, will you please, will you please? <laughs> he said, it's, really, it's not, not really allowed, but he said he'll make an exception in this case because the place where uh, my brother in Christ picked, I give him that much. He did pick the right spot. It was a big, a uh, uh, big laundromat, right? You know what I'm saying? It was a big laundromat, and it was known for hangers on and thugs, whatnot, on there. So when we, when we looked over there, yeah, it had a bunch of thugs, it had a bunch of unwanted people there that was, you know, stealing and whatnot, and actually stealing people's clothes or whatnot. So, uh, just all kinds of shenanigans. That's what they were doing, and they was drinking and whatnot. And so the security guard said, well, this is my shift. I'm, I'm usually here eight to 10 hours right here. I'm supposed to be driving around, but I'm, I'm, I'm right here, usually right here for eight to 10 hours watching them. And so that's why he was, he wanted us to go there. So he even told us where to, where to, where to set up at and everything. I was like, if that's, the, if that's not God working right there, if that ain't God working, I don't know what it is, but it's God working right there. God working it. Okay, so we set up. And it took about 20, 30 minutes to set up because, you know, I got cams, I got tripods, speakers, and whatnot. So we set up, right? So after we set up, we started preaching the gospel. We started preaching. And one by one, they just started leaving, some in twos and some in ones. You know how you turn the turn the light on in the kitchen at night, and all the cockroaches scatter. <laughs> they they scattered like the cockroaches. They just scattered. They was gone. 
the whole establishment perimeters was clear. Was clear. And I'm like, wow, we didn't have to... We didn't have to do much but preach the word. I thought we had to go in there and lay hands on, pe- on, on people, you know what I'm saying? Drive the demons out, whatever. We didn't even have to lay hands on nobody. We just preached the word and that was out of there. You know what I'm saying? That was out of there. And it was gone. But uh, man, we just preached the gospel and preached the gospel. And the best part is uh, a lady drove up. And she said she wanted to join us. She had a spot for us to go to. And we're probably going to be going there pretty soon. Maybe next week. Um, and another guy drove up. And uh, he he wanted to preach. And we let him preach. You know, we let him preach the gospel. He had his Bible and everything. He was a Christian. So I'm going to add him to our ministry. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, God is adding to our ministry. Little by little. Let me see, one, two, three this week, two last week, three this week, two this, two last week, so that's five, you know, so. anyway, uh, God is so good, I'm telling you, God is good, no matter, no matter what you, what you do, God ha- always has a plan for you, you know what I'm saying, he, because nothing can override God's authority. You know what I'm saying? Because the Holy Spirit worked through my brother in Christ. And that security guard was like, yes, this this is something we need here. The Holy Spirit was talking to him, yes. Because he, he could have said no. You know? And But in the middle of our outreach, a local cop came to us. A local cop. was a mailing police. Maryland police, and he was official and everything. And he said, uh, oh, you guys got to move. You, you you can't be here with the speaker. And so we explained to him that the security guard told us that it was okay for us. So he went to check with the security guard. He said he was going to come back. He said, uh, if the security guard says it's okay, I'll come back. And you, bet you guys are okay. He went and checked with the security guard. He never came back. He never came back. He, I saw him leaving. He actually left the... Uh, the mall. So yeah, God is working. God is always working through us and in us. You know what I'm saying? So that's my that's my testimony. That's my story. So I'm my, my the moral of this story is no matter what you set out to do, don't ever have any doubts or fears or second thoughts or whatever. Because it's not in your hands. It's in his hands. It's in God's hands. It's always in God's hands. Y'all just remember that. Amen. I just want to say y'all have a blessed day. And. Don't forget to subscribe there, there boy. And thanks for watching.